Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't done a video sitting in this spot in like a long time. But here I am. As a lot of you may know or seen or never actually have maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, but one of the most popular videos on my channel is my How to Catfish Has an Insta Instagram Baddie, okay? That's my um, most viewed video on my channel. So I made a part two because my um, routine had changed. But guess what? My routine changed again, okay? My routine changed again and I have a lot more techniques and all of this shit to make you a bad bitch. Even though you're already a bad bitch. You don't need makeup to be a bad bitch, but it's just like, you know, Instagram. Honestly, these videos, I'm like starting to feel like it's like kind of fucked up because it's like, okay, being a bad fucking bitch, like a baddie is like all in your personality. Um, Not with how you look. It's like, the video is kind of like, the title is kind of deceiving, but then it's like, there is these Instagram standards, which are fucking stupid, but I'm just feeding into it, but not really, but this is really just my makeup tutorial on, like, if I just want to look like a bad bitch, that's it. Like, if I want to look like a badass bitch, this is what I do. <laughs> I just wanted to clear the air with that. I hope it made sense. You're beautiful and a bad bitch no matter what. It's all within what's inside of you, bitch. It's all, it's all about what's within we have a sponsor though today of today's video so let's get into that and i'll see you guys in a second <laughs> hello hello fresh the sponsor of today's video is hello fresh look at this cute little box it comes in balsamic tomato and herb chicken it was so freaking delicious i wish i could eat it again look at these nice fresh ingredients in this nice sealed box that it comes in with ice at the bottom to keep all the meats fresh look at these tomatoes look how fresh it is you looks like you got it from the dang grocery store. I mean, look at me ch chopping, chop chopping away. Anyways, these are all fresh ingredients, perfectly proportioned. Um, you can get different meal plans, pescatarian. You can get meat. Um, you know, you got they got they got all of the above. Everything comes perfectly proportioned. You can get different types of meal plans. Um, all the ingredients come perfectly proportioned. Did I say perfectly proportioned enough times? Because it comes perfectly proportioned, and um, you know that saves you money. You don't have to freaking buy way too much stuff at the grocery store, make too much, and have these leftovers that are going to stay in your fridge. Look at me making this. I would not know how to make this without this. And it gives you a detailed ingredient and and freaking recipe so you can freaking make it and not have any problems. So go to HelloFresh.com right now and use my code 12Cory to get 12 free meals and free shipping. HelloFresh.com, 12Cory. 12 free meals. Did I mention free shipping? HelloFresh.com. 12 meals free shipping free shipping okay back to scheduled programming i don't even know what this shirt is found it in my dad's closet i always like steal my dad's shirts and wear my pajama shirts and i literally don't even know what this is what the hell is new egg.com so i've changed my the way i do my makeup a lot like I've literally, ch I've changed it a lot. Let's just get freaking started, okay? So we're gonna start off with a freaking face, okay? We're gonna do the face. This is just the order of how I do my makeup, just because I like makeup is not a lot. So, um, well, it's a lot actually. I lied, but like, um, it's not gonna like give me fallout, so I can do my face first. I'm gonna use the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below. Not linked, but I'll just like say it might type it this primer is really good especially if you have dry if you have dry skin um and it also is just good <laughs> i like to use i've been starting to use this and I actually like it a lot this is the I, I bought a sample because or like a travel size because i didn't know how i was gonna like it but i actually do like it a lot it's the marshmallow primer from nyx and it's supposed to like um minimize your pores i think and we're all prepped yeah. I'm in a weird fucking mood today. Like, honestly, I'm in a really weird fucking mood. And when I'm saying a weird mood, and I'm like, quirky, I'm like, I'm in a weird fucking mood, and I hate depression. That's what I mean by that. But I'm still filming for y'all because it always makes me feel better. Okay. We're taking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. 
and covering up these whores. Oh my god, it's probably so bad to be putting this over my pimples. Um, and then just like using it on my face again. We look fucking pale as fuck. It's pretty much just like a pre-foundation layer, like honestly. I look like sick. Recently what I've been doing to fucking put on my foundation is I've been using a brush. This is BH Cosmetics brush number two. We're going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is too dark for me, so I'm going to mix it with this. And this and this should be should be good with this. The other foundation that I mixed in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear is the Absolute Cover Foundation from Ofra. I have so many pimples. But it's okay to have pimples. Don't let them bring you down. I've struggled with acne for so long. If you guys have been around on my channel, you just know. A bitch has been going through it with acne. Like, for the past... I don't know how many years, even before I started my YouTube channel, which was like four years ago. It was not four years ago. There's no way. I don't know. See, look, we're matching good. See? I mean, it's still a little off, but you know, my camera freaking stopped recording on me um, because it ran out of storage, but we are back. We're back. We're back. We're back. This is the concealer again, the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, and put it under our eyes. I have figured out a new way that I do my highlight and contour because I saw it on TikTok and as you can see I have a fucking round ass head. So round, right? There's a way that I'm supposed to contour and highlight my face, which I never knew. So this is why you shouldn't watch my YouTube channel for informative videos. I just, I don't really know what you should watch it for just because you want to, <laughs> you want to support. But yeah, there's a different way of contouring than the chin. For some reason, they said if your face is really round, highlight the fuck out of your chin. I don't know why. I have no fucking idea why, but it looks, it makes a difference. It really does. Now, this whole freaking contour thing I was talking about. I'm going to use this Juvia's Place. Con this isn't a contour stick. This is a foundation stick, which I like because I want more coverage. Especially because a lot of my acne is typically on my cheeks where I contour, so it's like, I want more coverage there, you know? But yeah, this one's honestly real, too dark for my contour, but we're gonna make it work. Because I got this on clearance at Ulta, and um, it was like way cheaper than the other one, but I heard it was good for contour, so I might scare you guys at first. I'm using a really light hand, okay? Just, just know that. But this is how I'm supposed to contour my face if it's round. Who the fuck knew that? Not me. Once this blends into my foundation, everything's all good. I was doing it wrong all along. Doing it wrong all along. So how I always rhyme? That even that I don't even think that rhymed actually. But like, you'll see in the final result. But like. It makes my face look less round. I always get comments on these videos of people being like, This isn't catfishing. Catfishing is when you act like when you are a different person. No, the only reason I say catfishing is because people always like to use the term catfishing for calling a girl, um, for like, that's what they call somebody what they look like without makeup and they look different so that's why i say that i understand what a real catfishing is i mean catfishing technically is if you were to fucking fish for a catfish right like going fishing what the fuck if you want to really get technical here then catfishing is you go fishing with a fishing pole with a catfish not a cat you could bring a cat if you wanted to. That'd probably be fun. Anyways, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Alright? And I'm baking with this Real Technique sponge. You need to go buy this sponge right now. That's all I have to say. One thing you can take from this video is to go buy this sponge and use it for baking. That's the one thing that you take from this video. I don't care if you don't listen to anything else that I said. But just listen to that part. Together, 
bride now. Over me. See, it's coming together. Like, it's just, I like in eight different colors during my process of makeup, okay? Stick around for the end result. Stick around for the end result. <laughs> We're gonna do eyebrows now. I am using the Anastasia Eyebrow Brush in 7B. It's super, super tiny and it works super well. Um, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Let's freaking go for it. I make a line. underneath and I make little strokes going upwards like this like this and just like until you think that it looks good enough then you stop take more product and then I create the top line and then I just fill this bitch in. Take the L'Oreal concealer again. I, there we go. I take a flat brush like this and then I use this and I cut it out with concealer. And I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna do my other eyebrow. Other, other, yep. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they're not even at all. They never are. Never, 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 ever, 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 even. But that's okay. I just, I take this Patrick Star bronzer. I don't think I will ever get rid of this. Um, they don't even sell this anymore. But just like any type of bronzer, just, I, this is what I use in my crease, okay? And I just pretty much am pretty sloppy with it until it comes straight here. And then I bring it down to my nose contour. And this just makes everything blend all beautifully together. Tried this out in my drugstore makeup tutorial and I like this a lot actually. Like I really do. I really like this palette a lot. It is the Mad for Matte Nude Mood palette from e.l.f. And I go in and I'm gonna use this shade right here and just give in just deepen this up just a little tad bit and I'm just gonna use the same brush because I don't care. Honestly, it can be messy. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna put a wing eyeliner right here, so it's like it doesn't need to be perfect. Days. I'm gonna go back in and just buff this out one more time um, to blend everything together and make it look beautiful. I'm just gonna put some of that bronzer under my eye, but not a lot, just like a little bit. Just a tad bit. But I changed my routine and I feel like it makes such a difference. So I don't wanna use like dark black eyeliner in my waterline, but I realized that using eyeliner in my this isn't even eyeliner this is dip brown i don't even know if it's safe to go inside of your eye but i'm using it anyways and i've been doing this and it makes such a difference and it looks so cute so i pretty much just pack it on my freaking brush that i use for my eyebrows and then um i line my eyes with it like on top and underneath and it just looks cute i don't buff it out or anything anyways yeah if you have dip brow you can use it as eyeliner or you can't i don't know maybe i should research it but i i've been doing this so and nothing's happened to my eyes we're gonna go in with elf liquid eyeliner this is an og this is an og for me y'all know y'all know and i'm gonna create a big fat juicy beautiful wing all right Maybe that was a little bit too long. That's okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that wing. Gorgeous. Dose of Joe's lashes. Okay, so I'm going to go do my other wing off of camera. And I'm going to put on these eyelashes. These are the Dose of Joe's eyelashes on Instagram. Um, in the style um, Princessa. And they are so beautiful and so big and so fluffy. I literally love these lashes. They're my favorite lashes in the whole entire world. And I love them so much. And I'm going to put these on. And then um, I'm going to use this mascara. This mascara is really good. It's the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. You guys should go buy this right now. This is a really good mascara. Super good mascara. Okay? Sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna do my lower lash line too. Like mascara and I'll and I'll be right back. Alright? Well Corey would usually wear like a really, 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 really bright inner corner highlight. Like I would literally put down like a white base and then put us like a really sparkly highlighter on top of that. But for some reason, I don't like doing that anymore. I don't like it. I like how this looks much better. It's just personal preference. So my eyes are literally done now. I'm not doing anything else to them. But yeah. 
we're gonna go in with the positions forming the butter bronzer we don't really need too much bronzer because we already have um our freaking bronzer on our face but let's just go in with this just a, a bit do i still do this contour my lips like this put a bronzer or a contour shade underneath them this always makes them look bigger trust me trust me and then right here look they already look bigger okay i'm gonna take this blush from mac in desert rose but just focus it right here keeping keeping that part um nice and bright this is another thing that old Cory would not do um i don't wear a lot of highlight anymore i just like put in a little bit um i also use a way bigger brush i don't really know why i changed this but yeah this is the bh cosmetics number three brush weekend vibes and this is the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls Highlighter. And then I just like tab this on here. And then I just give myself just like the tiniest amount of glow. Like I don't want to be. Like I've been feeling the more matte look lately. Like I just feel like I look cuter like that. I don't know. But I am going to use this to highlight the top of my nose too. The straight little line right here. A little exclamation mark. But yeah, um, we're gonna use this Ofra setting spray. It's the makeup fixer. This stuff is so freaking good. And like so much comes in here. This is such, this is so good. But don't fucking open your eyes after you're done spraying this. If you have eyeliner on. Okay? So one thing that hasn't changed, obviously Cory loves her moles. I'm going to turn all my fucking pimples on my face into moles. I just use the Anastasia Dip Brow to do this too. I got a pimple on my forehead right here. Mole. This is still a trick that I do to this day. This makeup wipe is so dirty from me doing my makeup. But I always clean off and make like a little guide for my lips. Every time. It just makes it easier. Now we're going to take Ofra. Manila liquid lipstick and we're gonna put this on our lips as the first color but no I want to add dimension to make my lipstick a little bit bigger and I add just a little bit of nude potion I'm gonna do that does it really make a difference honestly no I don't think it does <laughs> I don't know but we're done Okay, wait, let me go do my hair and put on a cute shirt, and then this will be the full reveal. Okay? Give me a second. I love y'all. <laughs> and that, y'all, is how you catfish as an Instagram baddie. Or at least how I do. Um, yeah, this is my updated freaking Insta baddie look. This is, I don't know, it's changed quite a lot. There's something going off my eyelash right here, and I think it's got glue right there, and it's stuck together, but I don't know how to fix it. But yeah. Oh, I brought you guys over here because my lighting, I use these light bulbs, and it makes me look so yellow. And, um, it literally just, like, makes me look like I don't know how to match my foundation, but, like, we're good, y'all. We're good. We're good. Like, we're good. Updated how to look like an Insta baddie, but being a baddie is all within. Remember that. <laughs> no seriously though but anyways i love you guys so much i hope you're having a great day wherever you are and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs> be good to your brain remember that please thank you i love you goodbye <laughs>